Hey folks, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and today we're going to go over might be my least favorite Syncrid um, so far, honestly. Um, it's just so hard to get anything, you know, accomplished, right, on the Syncrid. Like, everything is just so far apart. Uh, but anyways, I went straight into, almost went to, into rant uh, before I noticed what I was doing and stopped myself. But anyways... Um, Salazel, Syncrid, um, we'll go over, you know, one dupe, two dupe, and three dupes, right, as usual. It's a stumble unit, and, uh, let's get right into it then. So, at one dupe, you have, um, uh, a few options, like, um, nothing, and nothing, and absolutely nothing. Like, what the heck? You got nothing, you got nothing at one dupes. I guess... The, the move gauge boof, boost MP refresh and out of my way MP refresh for Villa not that bad I guess but like if you're not doing Villa then these are like I mean maybe you could keep move gauge I mean they're not bad but like they're just much better in Villa right in terms of value but um, aside from that pick up a uh, move gauge refresh for sludge wave let's this is like the only like good thing that it kind of has here right move gauge refresh for sludge wave um, Sludge Wave Power Up. Uh, that's, that's all I got for Sludge Wave. <laughs> that's all I got for Sludge Wave. Um, as for other stuff, again, Move Gauge Boost, MP Refresh. Probably want to pick these up since you don't got anything else to do, anyways. Special Attack, Speed, Special Attack, Special Attack. Um, smog Accuracy, because why not? And then, like, two nodes of Smog, if you want to use that at all. I don't know. <laughs> um,. Again, you just don't got anything else. Like aside from that, like all all of these are like locked. All of these are locked behind um, a second or third uh, dupe, right? So you can't get any of this stuff. <sighs> I guess just pick up uh, stat nodes now. HP, HP. There's not even any off the other offensive nodes. Um, Tony defense. There you go. That's one out of five. Um, basically nothing. Um. I mean, well, the move gauge refresh is not bad on Sludge Wave. And four more power, power for Sludge Wave, Wave, which is good, which is good. But, like, in comparison to, like, all the other Syncrids, like, even Charizard, which does have a really bare bone, one out of five, right, still is, you know, much better just because at at, at his base, he's just a much better unit, right? Um, even though, like, his one out of five is just terrible as well, right? But back to Salzel. Um, if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Um, let's, let's do two out of five now. So two out of five, you got a few more options, but like your big ones, Harry, like Harry three, Toxic Power, they're still behind three out of five, right? Uh, which unfortunately you can't get, but you do have, again, a few more options here. So, um, well, first of all, you got, um, all these open, right? You get your second move gauge refresh on Sludge Wave, which is really, really nice, right? That's definitely, um, welcome. Uh, so you pick up all that stuff. Um, you could maybe get build up, but like honestly, I wouldn't pick up build up unless you're going for a, for a sync nuke build with an a, a inertia, right? So I probably would just leave build up um, for the moment being. Um, as for any other stuff, um, agile entry is not bad, right? Because Sazel is is relatively um, glassy, right? Not the most tanky unit in the game, um, not even close. <laughs> so yeah, you probably want to go agile entry. Um, if you're not playing co-op, right? If you're playing co-op, maybe, maybe not so much. Maybe just pick up the move gauge refresh or the the uh, the MP refreshes um, instead. Uh, maybe if you want, you could put uh, pick up this the move gauge boost, uh, move gauge refresh nine, which guarantees you get uh, an extra move gauge back every time you use the move gauge boost, which isn't that big of a deal, honestly. But it's not like bad, I guess. It's just that you know it's extremely situational maybe you pick up that maybe you don't maybe you come up here get smog accuracy right just to get your opponent poisoned um or if you're in balvilla you're not using salazel as much of a dps more so like a move gauge it's just like a spammer for toxic right if you want to get like you know if you're facing liar right you want to get um poison on, on your opponent then maybe just go for this instead take away sludge wave and just go for like these smog nodes instead um and 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 i guess some other stuff uh i'm not sure what is build up 
like for does it have to be Saladel who uses the sync move or can it be other folks because I don't know but yeah you could do that you could pick up this and then you could pick up uh smog staring and force so you could also get flinch on your um um on, on your smog hits as well which is pretty nice which again this is more of like a support ish villa kind of build kind of you know just takes a koga spot right um against uh, against lyra right um does more damage than koga and uh for the most part but uh poison not as reliable i i mean it's hmm, it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad in terms of getting points because you you do have this uh extra bit of accuracy boost right or else like the dudes or or i think girl right um her um her her, her actually is like 70 percent so you do get an extra 20 percent boost it up to 90 percent so that's pretty good all right um moving on let's go to three out of five so three out of five once you do get to, uh, get to three out of five you get both harry three and toxic power three problem look at where they are and this is why i don't like this secret at all they're so far apart oh, it's gonna cost so much to pick them up both of them 10 energy uh grids right so if you want to pick them up uh, pick both of them up which you know in the long run is is really um it's it's extremely strong it's super costly you have to pick that up um go all the way up there pick that up and then you know to and you can't even minimize your efforts right because both of these are seven right this is over here is even more expensive so I guess pick up Agile Entry because, you know, this is 7 as well, right? And then you have to get uh, Smog Staring so so that you uh, you actually do get um, flinches. So flinches are even possible. And I guess maybe Smog Accuracy, 5. So your Smog doesn't just miss all the time. Even though it's a one engagement, it's not like that big of a deal if you miss. Uh, but if it's in a Villa, you know, it's, it's still a turn, right? Turns still hurt. Um, so you can't get any honestly sludge wave uh, boost just because like it's so costly to get both Harry five and they're not even they're not even fives they're Harry three and toxic power three they're not even Harry five and toxic power five if it was like Harry five toxic power five then okay right that's an extra you know uh, what is it one point five times one point that's a that's an extra wow two hundred twenty five percent boost right um, which would be insane. But it's like only three, which is what? Um sixty nine percent if I remember correctly or something like that. Right? Um, let's see, one put three. Yeah. Um it's an extra you know, uh the hundred and sixty nine percent or sixty nine however you wanna you know, match it. Yeah, it's one point six nine, right? Um in comparison to what, two point two five was it or something? Um, if they were both fives. But okay, okay, I get it. It's a striker. But like the striker doesn't have much special attack base right so honestly um is this strong yes it is strong after you get both of these off you will do a lot of damage but um thankfully maybe you don't have to run this all the time just because a lot of stages or unthankfully because this again this is a strong build but like you just it's just so hard to utilize right uh but on stages where you where the opponent doesn't get flinch or like just stays flinch for like two seconds or whatever you know that has less than flinch or whatever you just don't go for that at all just give up on that completely um don't need any of this just go get toxic power right which is uh which is still which is still really really good um uh, maybe get smog accuracy up there uh and then you could you could go get some you know sludge wave damage boosts and all that stuff right uh, which would be decently helpful if you if you don't really care i mean it is a one bar move you don't think it's that big of a deal then maybe not get it but i, I i'd suggest it <laughs> but uh you could go here pick up some more sludge wave um boost or if you want to fix uh try and fix sal's so root problem which is it's a uh, special attack um right very very low special attack you could try like to go for that extra 30 special attack up there and like pick up all the other special attack nodes um which aren't bad i guess for the most part i can pick up smog accuracy there as well uh but yeah that's also another option um all in terms of like sheer power sludge wave just does more but this allows you to pick pick up uh, a move gauge accuracy as well so um there's one more build that you could do which i find this one honestly is my favorite it's it's pretty fun um you could go up so so what you do here is you go up from the side Pick up uh, inertia and go for a semi sync nuke kind of build, right? 
you get inertia, which uh, the higher user speed, more powers up sync moves. Um, and then you get build up here, ensures users next attack will be a crit after using a sync move. Then you get, because, you know, Salazar doesn't have uh, built in crit. And then that's also a bridge to get extra sync move energy here. And then um, over here, you could, uh, you get um, out of my way MP refresh and then um, pick up, actually, actually, I think the side is actually more yeah, cheaper, right? Right. So you get this, uh, this sync move power up here as well. Um, so you could also get that. Uh, let's see, how much do these cost? Or if you wanna, let's see, let's see if we could do this. Can we get, no, we can't get toxic power. Yeah, 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 we're, we need seven more. Um, or maybe take this out and then like, like go, go down here and then get like toxic power like that maybe, and then get an extra bit to invest in that. So you're losing what, 25 um, special attack uh, in exchange for um, sharply raise evasiveness plus 30%. Yeah, yeah, honestly, this is probably more worth it. This is probably more worth it. Um, but you do have to use smog a lot, which, which is fine. You're trying to spam for sync move anyways, right? So spamming for smog, not that big of a deal. So this would be a pretty um, fun build as well, um, sync move. Uh, sync move nuke kind of thing, right? So, yeah, there we go. A few builds for uh, Zalzel. For the um, few of you who pulled on the spanner at all, or even few of you who actually pulled her. <laughs> so, there's that. Anyways, um, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know you guys think, uh, think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel for some more fun content. I'll see you guys in the next one.